All right, golf addicts, welcome to the sleepers video for the Valero Texas Open. The Masters is almost here. Hello, friends. DB here. I got two names for you, one in the 6K, one in the 7K. I think both are going to be pretty low owned. Both might also trigger you to uh, to really hate me come probably Friday afternoon, Friday evening when they're possibly trunk slamming. That is the potential, okay? So don't shoot the messenger. It's a free video. You don't have to pay anything for it. But I'm going to try to make a case for these boys. All right, let's get right into it. The first one I'm going to give you is in the 7K. I'm going to save the 6K range for last. And he might be the most triggering of, of probably the whole 7K range, potentially. But, you know, when we're talking DFS, we're talking DraftKings, we're, we're definitely, we got to have that upside, right? You got to have that winning, potentially winning upside, top five upside. And this guy gives it to you. He really does. He's at 7,500. And I wouldn't recommend him as an outright, but at top 20, he's plus 360. I don't hate it because I do see this guy is really having that like high ceiling, low, very low floor situation. I feel like he's either going to top 20, top 10, or he's going to completely, you know, crap the bed Thursday and Friday and then just send, you know, he just goes home packing. It's Pat and Kazire. Okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. He's frustrating. He's frustrating. He's a good dude. We like him. Patton's a friend. Been on the show a long time ago. Longtime supporter of TJ. I, I like Patton Kazire. Okay. Let me show you a couple things that I do like about him. I'm going to share my screen here on Fantasy National. First off, I'm going to start with this. And it's the proximity numbers from these key ranges right here. Now, the 125 to 150 range also, you know, is, is going to be a, a thing, but not as much as this right here. This is a very wedge heavy tournament these couple of these par fives are, are not very gettable by even the longest hitters in the field you're gonna have to hit some wedges nice and close um, and, and get them nice and comfy and that is something that Pat and Kazire does very well both in the long term and here in the short term you can see it as well you can see that kind of popping so let's take a look at the the, the strokes gained metrics for Pat and Kazire the the strokes gain approach the strokes gain putting you know usually pretty freaking good really good in Bermuda um, good on average courses, which is probably what we're going to find here. This is kind of average scoring conditions. Windy, if the wind picks up, the gusts pick up in Texas. We like that for Patton. He can handle himself there. Long-term, short-term, decent iron player, decent putter. Struggles off the tee a bit. Now, a lot of the off the tee struggle is the accuracy metric. Here he is at 58% driving accuracy. He definitely hits it a long way. He just doesn't normally control it, but that's okay. You, you don't have to be perfect here at TPC San Antonio Oaks course. You can you can miss the fairways just a touch, a touch here, and I, I don't I don't hate it. Now, here's what I'm talking about. We, we see some of these big, high, you know, good weeks, real bad weeks, real good metrics, real bad metrics, losing five shots, gaining three shots. Like, it's kind of what we get with Pat and Kazire. You know, 11th place finish here, very next week, miscut, 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 65th, 10th. Like, this is what we get with Pat, and this is kind of the player – that he is, but he's a two-time winner on the PJ Tour at the Sony and the OHL Classic. Here's some performances in Texas, a third place at, at Colonial, third place at the Byron Nelson. Uh, let's see, where else? Anything else? Uh, Valero. We're gonna, here, here we are. Ninth place in, at, Valero, at Valero in 2021. Missed the cut last year at this place. So he's got a little bit of Texas, uh, you know, a couple of good Texas run in him. But, you know, gaining strokes with the Irons, three out of the last four events. Putter's looking good. I think there's some potential here for uh, for old Pat and Kazire with the uh, primarily just because I, I just he's going to be low on because he's not a comfortable play in that 7K range and nobody's really standing out in the 7K range. So I think ownership's going to be pretty widely dis distributed. I could see him being like four percent, three percent, but he does. You you have to admit he gives you high upside. He just does. Maybe you don't agree. Argue with me in the comments section. Hit the like button while you're at it subscribe to the video also the video is presented to you by our friends at picket the picket app is changing the game if you are betting or if you're playing fantasy like on props uh, prize picks or underdog or anything like that it's changing the game okay and these are a couple of my favorite screens because these are my personal screens from 2023 this is like through february and it's great to track your bets you have to track your bets your profits what are you doing well what are you not doing well all that can be seen right here on the picket app and it's free to download it's free to keep you don't have to pay anything within the app in fact they're paying you if you click the link in this video and sign up for the picket app and download it and then put tj in the referral code box when you do it they're going to either send you three dollars or a hundred dollars just for downloading their app on paypal 
just for downloading the app. That's it. Okay. Then you're going to be able to track your own stuff. You're going to be able to tell what you do well, what you don't. Um, and you're going to also be able to do it for other people that you follow, including me. I'm on there. You can see. Are, is DB actually placing the, the 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 plays on underdog that he says he is? Yeah, you can actually look at it. You can copy my bet. You can put it. You, you take it over to your side if you want. They've got incredible integrations with all these sports books, with all these DFS sites. So whether you're in a legal sports betting state or not, if you're playing DFS on some of these sites, Pick It will still link for you. And um, it's an incredible app, free to use. You can track your profits, your ROI. It's it's really a very powerful. Very powerful app. I encourage everybody to do it. You can do line shopping in here. Check it out. Let's get to the second name, all right? Second name also can be a little frustrating at times because he's a guy that I think we all pull for. You know, everybody's talking about Ricky up at the top. Our heart goes pitter-patter for Ricky because we love the guy, right? He's so lovable. And, I, and this guy's lovable. He's very funny. He's a friend of the show. Interview with him is going to drop pretty soon. But... You definitely say he's probably underperformed. You know, he's probably let some folks down in his PJ Tour career. But I think, I think he, I think he could do something here. I think he's got a little something here. And I'm talking about $6,900 Mark Hubbard. That's right, four to one to finish in the top 20. What I also found interesting is Data Golf on, on their own simulations and models, which, you know, I. I I don't know how how much I necessarily agree with all their simulations and models, but they have them as a minus 129 number to just make the cut. And I'm I'm not saying, like, we would probably want a little more out of Mark Hubbard at 6,900 than just make the cut. Like, I'd love a top 40. Top 40 would be great, but we got to at least get him through the cut. I mean, if we get a 6K guy through the cut, that's, that is something, right? That's what we're trying to do. So let's open up Mark's Hub Mark Hubbard on Fantasy National. And again, I'm going to start with the proximity screen in these key distances. Look at this. I mean, like, Hub's, Hub's strength is obviously the irons and the putting when it's on, okay? When he's not trunk slamming and he knows it and he's going to do the, the stinky snail or whatever it is, the stinky pinky putting stroke that he does. But, I mean, look at the, look at the wedge ranges here. Um Obviously, he's best in the, the the lower irons or, you know, whatever, higher lofted irons in his bag. Um, definitely checks the box there. So I wanted to show that first because it's a lot of green, which we like to see. Um, strokes gain approach, positive. Three out of the last four events, including Corrales. I looked it up. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Strokes gain around the green, putting usually long-term. If you look at his long-term, he's a, he's a good player around the green. His struggles are usually off the tee, and the reason is Hubs is not the longest hitter, so he's, he's kind of short, but he's also a little bit inaccurate, which is not a good combination. You either really need to be really long and inaccurate or really sh you know not very long and deadly accurate, and Hubs can struggle somewhat with that. But it's not terrible, right? I mean, it's 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 not, you know. So decent finish at Corrales, 35th at the Players in the strongest field in golf, 42nd at the Honda, 20th at Pebble Beach. Um, now, he's played Valero twice, missed the cut, and 42nd place finish, but this was back in 2015, 2016. He hasn't played here in a long time. Honestly, I'm not sure why he's playing this week. I don't know. Could I, I don't know. You got me. But I'm glad he's here. I do think he he gives you a little bit of opportunity down there in the 6K range, a veteran who's been in it and had some decent finishes, come close a couple of times. He's a journeyman. He's a grinder with good irons, really good short game. And I think that's most important here at TPC San Antonio, the Oaks course. All right, tell me what you think. Drop it in the comments. Give me a like. Check out the Picket app. Link in the description. Use referral code TJ when you do, and they'll send you money to literally download their app. You got to link a sports book or a DFS site you know, underdog price picks, whatever. You got to do that. But if you do that, they will literally send you money. That's it. But try out the app. Follow follow me, Tour Junkies DB, on there. Pat's on there, Tour Junkies Pat on the Picket app. Follow us, tail us, hang out, see what we're betting on, make fun of us when we lose. You know, let's have a good time. Let's enjoy it, all right? Let's have a great week. May your screens be green. See you.